the three champion jacks of the world at its time. Jack McAuliffe, the lightweight champ of the world. Jack Dempsey, remember John Kelly? He was from Ireland also. And John L. Sullivan, the champion of champions, the heavyweight. He had a fist that was like being poked with a telephone pole. It was that strong and that intense. It is said that John L. Sullivan had 500 fights to his name. Now, what happened in any of these things, it's, it, it's almost like Newmarket. You would go to Newmarket and you'd go into one pub and they'd have a fighter in there who wants to fight you. So you'd go out back and you'd fight. And then you'd crawl to the next pub and then you'd have another poke at some other champion of their place. So it was always, who is your champion? And these individuals would fight anybody who was there. It was great. No, if you like that kind of thing. My ancestors came from we're pretty sure from the start of the new market, uh, they then went down uh, to Cork. Uh, there's a generation down there. And my grandfather uh, went from uh, Cork to London, got married, and so <laughs> since the turn of the century, not this one, but the last one. So, uh, I've been in London. And uh, one of the problems we had with our size of that, was uh, the, the storytelling that goes on uh, with most families from childhood to adulthood was never passed there from my mind. Uh, my mum and dad split up when we were all quite young, so we, we were in care. So for 15 years we had no contact really of that nature. Uh, mum died young, so we couldn't ask her questions. And grandmother died young too, so she didn't really have that story to tell anybody. So we really had no um, picture of Macaulay's history in our family. Even though my favourite auntie, we didn't, I didn't know she was in Macaulay because she was married to Jack Allison. And she, she wasn't Bessie Macaulay, she was Bessie Allison. Um, it was only really in about the last 20 years or so when, um, a, possibly even the last 10 years, when my brother Mike and myself Called Miserable. That's why he's not I'll show you that in a second. So here's Jack McAuliffe. The stance, the classic position of, jo of Jack McAuliffe. Um, the strength, the agility, the mastery. They called him the Napoleon of the Ring because he was so knowledgeable about the movement of people. He was knowledgeable about his competition, where they would go, how he could counter. And he would always outthink his competition, just like all the other McAuliffe's in the world. <laughs>
Shall 